Welcome back to another episode of Julian's Random Projects. I've got a quick hack here. I bought this IKEA lamp a while back, and now that I've got an excess of what I would call middle of the range uh, 18650 cells, these are lithium ion cells or lithium polymer cells, and I've decided to try and build a pack from the same manufacturer or about the same time cells uh, that are about 2000 milliamps or higher. So these are just spares or um, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this little lamp has been serving me really well. It sits in our kitchen and runs off the grid. It's charged over USB through a barrel connector that goes into here and it gives you a little status LED when it's charging and it looks like that. And I think it eventually go green when it's fully charged up. Um, it's been great and when it's on, it's got a cool button on the front here. Very simple minimalist design on it. I like it a lot. And then inside there, I don't know if you can see that, there's an array of, of LEDs that run around. There's about I don't know, eight of them it looks like. And then when this kicks on, bam, you get blinded in the face. So you aim it down and it illuminates your workspace, right? Or in our case, uh, we keep it around in uh, in the kitchen. I, I use it as like a, a backup light or um, an accent light if I wanna have something kind of running all night or I've, I've even taken it out to go uh, grilling in the backyard when the, the sun went down before I was finished. I just kicked this guy on, threw it up on a on a stool that was out in the backyard, and then finished up my work out there. It worked really well. It's very, really bright, uh, simple. And as best I can tell, letting this thing run all night, not plugged in, it runs about 12 hours with a lot of light coming out. And that's actually quite a bit of power for the AA batteries that are in there. Let's take a look at the batteries it has now. All right, um, it came with some chintzy like 600 milliamp batteries and I tossed in these inner loops that came from a trackpad and mouse, or keyboard and mouse combo. So even without the batteries, it still has quite a bit of heft to it. And my guess is that when we pop this open, we're gonna find like lead weights in here or like some sort of sub uh, assembly or a chassis inside that holds onto that top guy, not relying on the plastic, but like a metal thing. We'll see. Uh, and I wanna replace those batter these batteries. Uh, I thought that when I pulled on, there'd be, well, there'd be even more batteries in here because of the weight, but they wanted to stand up properly. So my, even after the upgrade of the, of the, of the uh, nickel metal halides in there, uh, which it already had because it charged over USB, I wasn't happy with the time. And I, I'm planning to upgrade with the lithium ion cells to try and get a bit more power or I guess a bit more capacity so this thing can run even longer and then couple it with uh, some USB solar panels that I have and then let that thing just hang out in a window and charge it, trickle charge the sky up all the time. It could be a fun little thing to take camping. It's kind of got a handle here when you're walking around with it. It's a really simple, convenient design that I'm getting dirty with my gloves. Um, but I like it a lot. It's grown on me. I think it's like 15 bucks at, um, at Ikea. The Fribo, Fribo? Fryebo. There's the data, sh <laughs> as close to the data sheet you're ever gonna get from something like this, all the information. So if you wanna take a look at that, you're, you can pause the video and read some of the data there. So let's crack it open and see what we've got. Mm. Stupid tamper resistant screws. Alternatively, you can make your own bit. Don't 
Nailed it. Alright, so let's take a look at what we're dealing with. DC barrel connector in, charging circuit board, positive and negative out, switch, because positive and negative white and black, and then switch is the red one for no clicky clicky. That's where all the weight is, whatever that is. It's, it's not magnetic. Let's pull that out. All right, looks like what we have here is some big heavy rubbery plastic looking piece. I'm gonna desolder some of these wires so they're a little easier to deal with. But to give you an idea, my goal here is to fill that void instead of these, there's sort of this big heavy weight, handful of those batteries over there. Let's see how we get on. Bunch of discrete components, some resistors, capacitors, the DC in, positive and negative there. Going through a diode, labeled D1, diode number one, through some transistors. That's all pretty par for the course here for a, a simple charging circuit. Let's hope we don't need to replace it. All right, so I've done a quick solder job on four of these guys, connecting all the negative tabs together and then all the positive tabs together, minding that they don't short out to that outer case uh, between the center here and that. That's positive and that's negative. And see the manufacturers put this ring around here to keep um, tabs that jump across from shorting out. So just don't don't melt that little plastic ring. Otherwise you might you'll well you'll probably more definitely have a short. And to keep it from keep all these sharp little jaggy edges here, I'm gonna cut out a bit of this and tape it all up. But you guys get the idea. You've seen packs made before. All right, so let's take a look at what that looks like now. Original lamp, original circuit board, upgraded battery pack. Should be able to tuck that guy in there. Just leaves us enough room to. We'll shove something in there to help it stay centered and not rattle around, but all right, let's button this guy up. So there we go, job done. Uh, Nifty little Ikea lamp. I'm still, still going strong there. Next thing to do is to be tested and see how long it lasts. I'll set up a time lapse or something. Um, I'll either put up the hard data from that here or I'll uh, include the video to give you guys an idea of what type of, you know, what level of improvement we've got now over that original stock AA batteries. Um, I know a lot of you guys have extra lithium ion cells laying around from projects and so I thought you'd get a kick out of adding a little bit more functionality into something as simple and elegant as this LED lamp. I really like it so I wanted to make it more useful for me so that I'd um, have a reason to keep it around. Next step is clean it up and then uh, like I said do that discharge test and see how it goes. If you like this mod and things like it, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and get updated when I do more fun stuff like this. Or like this guy. He's up next. The solar powered one, which luckily for us has normal Phillips screws. Awesome. So stay tuned.